Hello everyone, welcome to this lecture where I am going to demonstrate how to install Ubuntu operating system into VirtualBox. So to install Ubuntu, first you need to download the ISO image from Ubuntu site. So from here you can download. While recording it, this is the latest version available, it is 22.04. I have already downloaded and kept it here in this directory. I will be using that file. So I'll go to VirtualBox, click on new, we can give any identifier name here, I will give Ubuntu 22.04, a Linux operating system version is 64 bit, next I'll give 4 GB RAM, we can see here that is the recommended configuration, so 4096 and my base machine is having only 8 GB RAM. But for the entire training series, I'll be using Ubuntu, which is running in ESXA server and uh, even EVNG or GNS3, which is running in the same ESXA. This I'm just using only for demonstration. So I'm giving 4 GB RAM. And we can select default here, VDI. Then this is going to allocate space dynamically. That means it is thin provisioning in VM. Then we'll give 30 GB hard disk. Here the recommended is 25 GB. I'll click on create. And we can go to settings. And under networks, uh, you can see adapter one is attached as NAT. That means the Ubuntu machine will be getting an IP in 10.x range and that will have internet connectivity. It will be using this particular interface for connecting to internet. The first interface. And here under system processor I will give 4 CPUs and later we will see how to enable shared folders and clipboard copying and all. For now, we can just start the system. I'll click on start. And now this will be prompting for selecting the disk, the start disk. So I can go to the directory I'll select this image Ubuntu 2204 click on open give start you can press enter here So first this will be booting up with Ubuntu operating system and then we'll get an option to install it. Now here Ubuntu is booted up and it is prompting for installing. So I'll click on install Ubuntu. Continue. I'll select normal installation. I'll give even a download updates and we can erase disk and install it because we have given 30, 30 GB virtual hard disk. Continue. Continue. It is by default selecting the location and username I'll give dev. I'll give Ubuntu and password I'll give admin I'll make it simple and since it is a test machine I'll give login automatically
and now here you should be able to see the entire installation process it will take a couple of minutes I'll pause the video and we'll come back once it is done now copying has been completed it is trying to install the operating system now installation has been completed it is prompting for reboot so I'll press restart now it took around 10 to 15 minutes to install Ubuntu operating system so it is rebooting the machine you can press enter there So you can see here to come out of this console you need to press the right side control button control key so new ubuntu has been booted up so i'll click on skip here because i don't want to add this into google account or single sign on this is a test server test machine so and I'll select don't send system logs next done so now I have a new Ubuntu machine installed now to open terminal we can click on the show applications and type terminal here I will right click and add that to favorites so I can see now terminal added into the the favorite list now from here if you want to see the Python version you can just give Python 3 and enter by default it is coming with Python 3.10 this is good now we will do an update here sudo apt get we'll do it manually from here terminal both are same I'll give the password admin So it started downloading the update that is why it is getting locked so it can even upgrade from here so we'll wait for this to get completed so from CLI what you need to do is first you need to run this command sudo apt get update then you need to execute so do apt get upgrade now same thing is happening from the UI it is downloading all the packages and install it In the meantime we can remove some of the unused application from this taskbar for this use case we are not going to use these applications so we won't be using even Thunderbird and we will add settings also
I'll add to the favorite. Now it is trying to install all the updates. So I'll pause the video and we will come back once this is done. Now upgrade has been completed, I'll give restart now. After restart, we will install guest additions so that we'll have the clipboard copying option and the file sharing option from Windows to Ubuntu. Now what I can do is I can go to device and click on insert guest additions image so you can see here so one image got mounted and I can open terminal here here we have a file called autorun.sh And you can see this is the version number of the VBOX which we are using. So I'll try running autorun.sh. So it is prompting for password. I'll give the password. So now it is installing all the guest additions. I can press enter and I'll shut down the machine first then we'll make the changes to our virtual box now I need to go to virtual box settings general then under advanced we can select shared clipboard bidirectional then we need to go to shared folder here in my windows machine i have a directory ubuntu share i'm going to share this directory with this particular ubuntu operating system because i have all the cisco images available here so that i can access and install it in inside ubuntu's gns3 so can click on plus then I'll select the file go to data Ubuntu image and select the directory I'll give auto mount I can leave this empty so that it will by default get mounted there click OK I'll start the machine. Now let us open the directory. So you should be able to see this directory, but this user doesn't have permission. So to add the permission, what we need to do is sudo add user then dollar user and vbox sf that is a user group now this user will have access to the particular store you need to reboot this machine again so that we'll get the access so let me reboot the machine again Now Ubuntu is booted again. Now first we'll see the shared clipboard option. So I'll 
copy some data from my host machine I'll open terminal control shift V I can paste it so it is copying and pasting now this is bi-directional and let me open the directory and now I have access to even these files and you can see here now even the the screen is auto scaling because I have installed all the guest shell additions and the guest features right so so it is auto scaling and I can open any of these files which I am sharing from Windows machine this directory you open this contents are going to be same now in the now if you just look into the IP address of this currently this doesn't have this tool installed net tools we'll see the IP address once because now this is in NAT mode I'll give if config and its IP is 10.0.2.15 but this IP won't be reachable from the host machine in the next lecture we'll see how to add this into a host only network enable RDP and access the Ubuntu machine from there